Uh, so, hi everyone. Welcome to our session on RPA showdown UI path versus automation anywhere. This topic has been in debate for a very long time, as we all know that UI path and automation anywhere are the two biggest names in RPA universe. And people are often confused on which is the better tool for them. So in this webinar, in this session, we are going to answer as many questions as possible uh, on how and which tool will be more suitable for your organization and the automation journey that you're going to follow. Uh, in the session today, I have Umar Shahid with me. He is a senior RPA developer with uh, Royal Cyber. And uh, along with uh, him, I have our RPA practice head, Asif Hussain as well. And I am Ankit, who handles uh, sales opportunities for RPA with Rawson. So going further, uh, before diving into our main topic today, I would like to give you an overview of what Royal Cyber is at present. We are present in across 15 countries, 15 plus offices with having a global presence and employee strength reaches around 2,500 and above, which is covering not only RPA, but cloud, AI, ML services, integration, middleware, and commerce as well. So along with that, we have been partnered with major OEMs in the world as well. The two being UiPath and Automation Anywhere. Apart from that, we are also partnered with SAP and Oracle and AWS and various others to name it. So as I spoke about our global presence, we have offices in various continents as well, such as US, Canada, UK, Australia, Saudi Arabia and India and Pakistan are our more major, India and Pakistan are our major offshore delivery centers. So moving further, I would like to hand over the stage to Omar, who is going to be explaining us more about RPA and we'll be talking more on to the main subject of today's session. Over to you, Omar. So hi everyone, my name is Umar and I'm going to walk you through this one of the most uh, uh, important and one of the most uh, talk out topic in the industry of RPA, which is uh, UiPath and Automation Anywhere, which one is better for use and which one is better for your business and for your use case. So the first question that comes to our mind that what is RPA? RPA is basically robotic process automation, which is a technique through which you can automate all the repetitive rule-based tasks. And also when you, even you can incorporate it with machine learning and all the other stuff with computer vision and can make it more intelligent. So RPA and IRPA, they are very closely related to each other. They are tightly bonded now. So it allows business to improve efficiency, accuracy, and reduce operational cost. If you talk about the significance of RPA, so it enhances the productivity by freeing employees from mundane tasks, improves accuracy and consistency in task automation. So, you know, there is banking industry, finance industry, automated, uh, automobile industry. So there are multiple industries in which all, all the manual work and all the paperwork, they all are done on regular basis and on every data. They are like every data as for everyone. So what RPA does, RPA provides those opportunity that you can free up your employees from doing those mundane tasks and they can focus on more important and more productive tasks in the organization. Furthermore, it offers the scalability and flexibility to adopt to changing business needs. So Ankit, next slide, please. Okay, so what can RPA bot do? So there are multiple things that comes to our mind and there are multiple misconceptions that bots are going to take our jobs and bots are going to, you know, um, going to take over the human. So it's a complete misconception because RPA is here to provide to provide you facility, not to take away your jobs. So what can RPA do? An RPA bot can navigate through all the desktop screens in which uh, if you have a screen and there are multiple apps, you have to integrate it. For instance, you have to 
uh, cooperate it with Excel, you have to cooperate it with um, Word, whether any, any other application. So uh, RPA bot can interact with all of them. It can run through SAP. SAP is one of the most important, famous use cases uh, that you can automate through via API. And if APIs are not available, then obviously you can go through the UI automation. And SAP is just a basic example. There are multiple more systems that it can integrate with. So another example is that it can open web pages, interact with web pages, so Chrome, um, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, any kind of Explorer, so Internet uh, Exchange. So it can interact with them and can perform multiple functions. If you want to open a specific website, you need to log in, you need to provide uh, certain information. So what if, for instance, if a company has its own system and it wants to get the data, enter the data, so RPBot can do that. It can, uh, furthermore, it can interact with the Excel file. It can extract the data from Excel file, each and every cell, each and every tab. It can extract that. It can, uh, you can uh, modify their data, filter out their data, and, you know, you can perform multiple functions uh, through UEPA, through automation, and you through both of them. And when it comes to email, email is the most important one because, you know, in uh, finance industry, in, in all the indus industries, Email uh, triggering is the most important one because many of the people, they are just uh, sitting there down there and monitoring all the emails. So what RPA bot is doing, RPA bot is constantly uh, figuring out that email. It's uh, figuring out that email, seeing that, and it's checking all the email attachments, whether uh, the attachment is there, it's not. So it opens the email and then it processes accordingly. So RPA bot can also do that. So this is, these are some of the things that RPA bot can do and the misconception obviously that I cleared out already. So uh, Ankit, next slide please. Okay, so here are the contenders in the industry of RPA. The two of the most competent com contenders, UiPath and Automation Anywhere. There are multiple more, to more tools, Automation Anywhere, um, Power Automate, there are multiple more. But UiPath and Automation Anywhere, these are the competitors that are being in the, in the industry for a very long time. But if you talk about uh, the time, uh, Automation Anywhere is a bit older because it was established in 2003 and it is known more for its powerful automation solutions. And in 2005, UiPath path was formed, but it rapidly evolved as the most, uh, uh, as the leading RPA platform. And what is the reason? Because it's user-friendly. That is one of the most important uh, feature, key feature I would say for UiPath. path that it includes all of the things, but the user-friendly uh, and robust automation technology is the one of the most important feature of UiPath. If we talk about automation anywhere, automation anywhere is kind of, you can say, a script-based language. There is more scripting to it. And if you talk about the cognitive automations and the other integration capabilities, so it's better in automation anywhere as compared to UiPath. So both of them has their own key features, has their own pros, has their own cons. So in the session, we are going to discuss all of those things, like which one is more powerful, which one is uh, capabilities is better in which area, and which one is the best suit for you. So let's hang together and, and see what what's going to happen. So on okay, next slide, please. So in this in this slide, you can see that there's uh, we are going to uh, compare the features of both of the uh, leading marketing tools. Automation Anywhere and UiPath. So if we talk about the user interface, so clear away, UiPath is the clear winner in this. Because you know, UiPath is an in, intuitive interface. It's a visual design and it's a drag draw functionality. And simplify the creation of the automation workflows for users at all levels. For instance, you have a small, you are a small business owner and with limited technical expertise, you can easily automate even invoice processing using UiPath because it's that much friendly. But when you talk about automation anywhere, it is more of a script-based language and um, uh, you know, a person with a limited technical experience and a limited technical expertise, he cannot use automation anywhere. So uh, a more of a developer background is required to use that automation anywhere. So in user interface, clearly UiPath is the winner. If you talk about the scalability, so yes, scalable, both of the solutions that are provided, uh, they are scalable, obviously, for sure. You can build more and more automation, so they provide that kind of architecture. So, but this, uh, UiPath is cloud native, and the automation anywhere, it's enterprise level automation, like it's uh, on the on-prem and it's deployed on, over the machines. So, for example, a rapidly expanding e-commerce uh, company utilizes Mm, any of them. So th when it comes to scalability, so both of them are equal. 
community support both of these uh, tools have a com a great uh, support over of community so what the community what's the main purpose of that community so whenever a developer any person is stuck in a problem and is saying like what should i do and i'm completely stuck i've googled around it i cannot find any solution so you go to the uh, that community you post your question you post all the that uh, the things that you tried and what uh, you know and you weren't able to try uh, find any solution so what they will do the community will help you find that solution and then um, once that solution up till until that solution is done they will keep helping you so that's one of the most uh, amazing thing of this community so both of them has a very strong community moving towards the next part that's the cognitive automation and cognitive automation basically um AI and machine learning is one of the most hot areas right now that is currently being discussed in the industry of RPA and other technologies in which you are doing invoice processing, claims processing, and multiple other uh, things that you are doing in cognitive automation. So both of them provides those facilities and both of them provides those uh, that you can use the machine learning and the other components. But if you talk about uh, which one is better in it. So automation uh, clearly excels in processing unstructured data with AI and machine learning, automating complete uh, complex tasks that require human-like judgment. For example, our financial institute leverages uh, automation anywhere cognitive capabilities to automate the analysis of loan applications, including unstructured data, handwritten notes, and multiple other features. So clearly, automation anywhere is the winner here. If you talk about the security, both of them provide the good security. It's, for instance, you want to store all the credentials in the cloud, in the orchestrator, in the pod store. So the security level is quite tight here. Both of them provide those security. So this is one of another element that these both uh, tools are providing. Deployment is, again, quite easy in both of them. If you talk about UiPath, UiPath is basically all the solution is deployed on cloud and on-prem, but if you talk about automation anywhere, it's on-prem and hybrid deployment. So for instance, it runs on a machine, specific machine. So that's the main difference between them. If you talk about the integration, integration means uh, you have to provide API support or you have to via provide uh, other integration. For instance, you want to provide SAP integration, you want to provide uh, open AI integration, and there are multiple other integrations that can be provided. So both of them have a very great uh, partnership with all those tools and they, they provide those integrations. And the last part is training and support. So training and support, both of them uh, have a great community and also a very great university. So you can browse over their um, website and you can find courses of UiPath, of Automation Anywhere, and both of them are very good enough that you can even um, excel some job using that and you can also uh, learn it and implement it if you are owning your own business. So features wise, both of them have their pros and cons and both of them are quite powerful uh, if we are looking from a business pers perspective. And get next slide, please. Okay, so if you talk about the advantages, Automation Anywhere is a compatible to work with legacy and modern systems. So there's no need to change uh, or update the existing technologies. Whereas in UiPath, it offers good security, scalability, and performance. If we talk about uh, with uh, comp comp compatibility with legacy system, then obviously UiPath also provides that. But when it comes to more efficient, then automation anywhere is the go-to tool. Again, uh, let's move towards the other one support seamless delivery of services through all inclusive features, uh, provide 3x scalability, and 350 increase in productivity as outcomes of automation. Quick starting when the automation is setting up requires minimum processing time, delivers more accurate data, and not much IT dependency is required while managing the parts, and it reduces the operational cost by one fifth of the regular cost, and wow, this is a lot. Zero footprint creator and uh, it reduces the cost of maintenance and infrastructure. So these are the advantages, some of the advantages of automation anywhere. But if we come towards the UI path, let's explore what advantages does they provide. Uh, when it comes to the installation, uh, like from start, 
from uh, start to the ending. UI path is very friendly and all the documents are there. You can just go through them and uh, read out and then you can deploy and you know you can install end to end completely. So the installation process is quite simple and it's quite easy. So there's no need to expand infrastructure during scaling so because once you have set it up, then it's set up because it's a cloud-based solution. So that is one of the main features of UiPath. Authorization to control access to resources by third parties, automatic controls for unattended robots. That is again, one of the most important features. And one more thing in the UiPath, if you are scheduling the bot, then, then it is also one of its features because you can schedule that bot. UiPath provides cross-platform support. Robots can be managed by browser, API, and orchestrator. UiPath provides orchestrator, automation anywhere provides. A bot store in which you can monitor and see what the process, uh, how the process came, it ran successfully, it doesn't, it doesn't. So uh, both have their pros and cons. So these are the advantages of all uh, of the automation anywhere and UI path. So uh, Ankit, next slide, please. So here are we going to discuss some of the similarities that are between automation anywhere and UI path. Both UI path and automation anywhere, obviously they are RPA technologies. So and the leading contender. So there's one of the one of those similarities. The next one, they effectively manage access control to ensure the security of the data and other resources. Wow, that's that's important because security. Uh, whenever uh, a customer comes and he asks that, what's the security level that is RPA uh, and they are offering and these tools are offering. So we have this answer. Get yes. We have the access control. We control all the data. We control all everything. So uh, they provide the security. That's the most most important part. You can automate any business with the support of UiPath and automation anywhere. Both platforms uh, they are drag and drop features. So dependency on coding is zero and significantly less at time because scripting obviously you know sometimes it's important because in automation anywhere you can in both of them even you can do VB scripting. You can do Python. You can even use JavaScripting. And in UiPath, you can even go to custom coding in .NET and C Sharp. So these are so you, sometimes you have to go through them. Both platforms uses digital assistants. They can be executed both attended and unattended auto automations. Both platforms generate actionable insights with the support of AI technology. They can be deployed in the cloud in all possible means, public, private, hybrid. So yeah. These are some of the similarities between automation anywhere and between UI path. So Ankit, next slide, over to next slide. Okay, so we are going to discuss some of the differences that are between automation anywhere and UI path. If we talk about automation anywhere, it's Java-based microservice architecture, whereas if we talk about UI path, it's client-server architecture. So the main difference comes here that Java services, you know, is always one of the most fastest in um, in the in the development technologies. If we talk about that, so Java based is always faster. So client server, it's good, uh, but it's comparatively a bit slow when it comes uh, towards the execution. But again, it isn't that much slow. It's just a millisecond differences. So there is no IT dependency, and it is user friendly when it comes to automation anywhere. Whereas UiPath, the platform needs constant IT support. So it can be the support can be from UiPath, or you hire some consultants, and they provide constant support of their UiPath product that they have installed. No need to integrate with third parties; that it is all inclusive. Whereas in UiPath, it's capable of integrating with third parties, but obviously, if you integrate with third parties, then it's going to increase the complexity. So always, uh, a suggestion is always to talk to round bottom approach. And so in automation anywhere, both horizontal and vertical scaling is possible without glitches due to its supportive architecture. So uh, automation anywhere provides that. But in UiPath, it could create a bottleneck while scaling, uh, especially during large scale deployments and it requires duplication of software instances. So you have to create multiple processes. So uh, obviously it's going to create the bottlenecks. In automation anywhere, integration is not possible, whereas in UiPath, you can integrate with all of the different combinations and then employ them across various workflows for automation. So that is one of the most, again, key features of UiPath. Next is uh, the security again. Having strong security standards through the following certifications. So these are some of the certificates, as, uh, like certified uh, security protocols that automation anywhere is offering. And whereas uh, if you see the uh, UiPath, so it's a bit less. 
तो वी कैन से वेन इट कम्स टू सिक्योरिटीज तो ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर इज मोर सिक्योर एज कम्पेयर टू यू एप तो दीज आर वन सम ऑफ द की डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर एंड यू एप सो अंकित नेक्स्ट लाइट प्लीज ओके ईज ऑफ यूज which one is easy to use and which one is difficult so we are going to discuss that in this slide both uipath and automation anywhere work based on rpa alongside ai technology both of them you know that but uipath is basically known more for its user friendly uh, interface so uh, for users the main benefit is that even uh, complicated automation can be designed and executed without programming skills on a more advantage uh, advanced stage such skills would become really important and could heavily impact the effectiveness of implementation but to start they are not necessary so okay so automation anywhere in the past was uh, described as more script based than any other automation solution that i already told you before but in case of you apart it's simple drag drop and even uh, there are multiple functions built up in dotnet in c sharp that you can use and most of the functions are built out for instance if you want if there's a data table and you need to convert that to a string in automation anyway you cannot do that uh, with any function because it's not available you need to use some script mediator and script that you need to code that out but in jupa there's a built in function you just need to drag drop and boom it's done so these are some of the uh, key differences and the ease of use in jupa but when you talk about uh, automations could be created using predefined rules and actions built into ui path and again the drag drop features so this is some of the uh, ease of use uh, things that uh, which one is easy to use which one is difficult which one is more script based so this is the thing that you need to consider when you are deciding which tool you need to use for your business or which tool you need to go for okay next slide please okay so uh, the comparison that we are going to do is the cognitive functions when it comes to the cognitive capabilities automation also tries to stay on path to leverage its full potential also combining rpa software with ai technologies such as computer vision natural language processing fuzzy uh, logic and machine learning to automatically classify extract and validate the information from the documents and emails those capabilities are implemented in special kind of bot called iq bot that's called in automation anywhere and it has the following features capability to distinguish categorize uh, data types and formats by applying multiple layers of classification methods and use machine learning techniques to recognize the patterns leverage existing automation platform and provide a variety of triggers such as emails or workflow file folders etc and etc use of semantic models and feed data into the task bot so this is these are some of the cognitive functions that are uh, offered by automation anywhere but if you talk about ui path yeah, so ui path uh, also takes the full advantage of co cognitive capabilities of the software which uses machine learning natural language processing and intelligent optical ocr and also ai computer vision example elements and functions of cognitive pack built in ui path software includes uh, google text analysis and google text translate ibm watson nlu text analysis microsoft text analysis and there are multiple other text analysis analysis that we can use so both of them are quite competent when it comes to the cognitive function that both of them are uh, quite good in terms of result if we are talking about so yes yeah. uh, next slide ankit okay so now we are going to talk about the native integration so as i told you before both of them have a good, good capability to provide uh, support the integration so if you want to integrate with some third par a party a app api uh, if you are not uh, willing to go for the ui automation you say that i need to go for the api automation in which you can integrate with salesforce oracle mulesoft uh, sap any other any application that you say so ui path natively integrates with applications that multiple enterprises use including uh, tools and platforms such as amazon web services microsoft oracle salesforce sap and many other totaling over 140 native build integration and the updated list is available over ui path website so you can just uh, go over there go there and uh, see which uh, integrations ui path is providing 
if we come towards the automation anywhere, that it includes around 154 companies, uh, which is uh, in numbers, in terms of numbers, it's more than UiPath. And uh, they include multiple more SaaS providers as compared to UiPath. So, okay, so like for uh, they provide integration with TeamViewer and et cetera, et cetera, much more. All major integrations such as Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, Amazon Web Services, and SAP, they are built in. In June 2019, Automation Anywhere announced a strategic collaboration with Microsoft. As a result, bots can be accessed directly from Microsoft Azure, and companies declare collaboration to leverage the integration between their software. So Automation Anywhere has also selected Azure as a preferred cloud provider. So native integration, obviously, uh, Automation Anywhere is the clear winner, but again, it depends on your requirement. If your requirement is fulfilled by any of the tool, then obviously you can go for that. Uh, next slide, please, Ankit. Okay, so we are going to talk about the search interest over time. So there is a graph, and you can see that starting our comparison, we have also researched what was the search interest in both vendors over a period of last three years. So this, uh, uh, this data, this analysis is from 2018 to 2021, uh, over our three years. So data from Google Trends clearly shows that from a search point of view, UiPath is leading the way, being more frequently searched over automation anywhere. It is important to note that it is not reflecting the total number of searches, only search interest over uh, time for a specific topic, in this case, the company name. Comparison of search trends shows that while interest in automation anywhere remains generally on a steady level since 2018, but if you talk about UiPath, it, it's growing over time. And you can see after 2020, it, it gained a big spike. So yes, uh, if you talk about the search interest over time, so UiPath, we can say that with time, the interest is clearly increasing. So, both of them are quite competitors, but UiPath is slightly winning here if we talk about the search interest, and that's just because of its user in, um, uh, its ease of use. So in the next slide that uh, Ankit is showing uh, right now, it's user review. So we did a user review, and you can find it over Google and multiple websites that what they did, and according to the user review, UiPath is leading, uh, leading a preferred RPA solution vendor with automation anywhere in second, obviously. Although the ratings, um, the difference in the ratings are not that much big, but we can discuss about that. Right? If, if, if you talk about ease of use, then automation anywhere is 4.4 and UiPath is 4.5. The customer service is 4.3 and whereas in UiPath is 4.3, so it's both the same. If we talk about the features, uh, automation anywhere is 4.3 rated and UiPath is 4.5 rated. And we talk about value of money. So value for money. So automation anywhere is 4.3 and UiPath is 4.4. And likely to recommend to any other colleague or any other business rivals. So it's 86% automation anywhere and 90% UiPath. So overall, if we talk about UiPath is 4.6 rated and automation anywhere is 4.4 rated. So that's a, uh, an overview of what the user review is uh, in terms of automation anywhere and UI path. So next slide please, Ankit. So here are we going to talk about the licensing and what the costing of, uh, uh, would cost if you buy UI path license, if you buy automation anywhere license. In terms of UI path license, there are multiple packages that is offered by UI path team. So the automation anywhere developer, uh, oh, sorry, automation developer in which it includes one action center, one attended board, one studio, studio X data service and uh, integration service. So it's not providing any document understanding and that pricing is $420 per month. If we talk about the second one is which offers unattended automations in which you need to assign a machine to uh, your robot and it's $1380 in which it's providing one action center, one attended board, one studio, studio X, and one unattended robot and data service, and obviously the integration services. But if you talk about you are working in a team and you need more unattended boards and more attended boards um, licenses, so the cost is $1930 flat rate per month. And it's pro it provides one action center, one unattended robot that will run all the automations, two studio and studio X, so two uh, 
licenses for the developers and four attended robots in which if you want to run the attended automation and the data service, obviously. But if you are planning that uh, you have some custom plan and you want to, uh, you know, you just want one developer or two developers or even three developers, but you don't want any attended robots. So there are multiple features that you can customize. And for that, there is a custom pricing plan that is available uh, when you contact the uh, UiPath sales team and they will listen out to your uh, needs and then they will provide you the quote as per your requirement. And even uh, we being a Royal Cyber, we are also uh, the partners of UiPath and Automation Anywhere both. So uh, being a partner uh, is very beneficial because you can get all the discounts and uh, when you are referring some clients and you can, you, uh, so you can get those discounts. So that's one of the most uh, also key feature if you are a partner. Uh, next slide please Ankit. So here we are talking about uh, the licensing plan of automation anywhere. So if we talk about the starter pack, then it's only $750, which is quite cheap if we talk, uh, compare it with UiPath. It offers control room user, unattended bot runner user, bot creator user, unattended bot runners, attended bot runners, bot insight, uh, ARI, uh, uh, digital assistant, discovery bot, IQ pre-built bots in productivity, bot store marketplace, mobile app, uh, bot lifecycle management, workload management, built in DR on cloud, and custom plan according to the requirements. So these are some of the things that, uh, and if we talk about price, then there's a considerable difference when it uh, because automation anywhere is providing a lot of facilities in seven fifty dollars. But again, if you want some more solution, like if you want on-prem solution and you are you want some more features, like if you want to use the uh, document understanding feature of automation anywhere, you want to uh, you want to process your invoices. Uh, so for that, you need to contact the sales team again, and they will provide you with the uh, uh, custom uh, feature, uh, custom package, and the price will also be obviously will be good. So these are some of the differences between automation anywhere and between UiPath. So yeah, so that's a complete comparison. And Ankit, next slide, please. So here we are going to do a small demo. Uh, we are going to do OpenAI integration with UiPath and with automation anywhere. We're going to run that and we're going to show you that uh, same thing that we have developed in Automation Anywhere in Juapa and what's the main difference that we are going to have in it. So uh, let me share my screen and then we can move ahead. I'm sure it is. Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay, so this is uh, the automation that I've already built and we are, what we are going to do here. In this, uh, we have initialized a string in which the name, source, and destination of a ticket of a reservation of a person is there, in which the name of the person is Ruiz John, the source is Lahore, and destination is Istanbul. This thing we have already initialized. Um, but obviously, if you are scaling it up, you are doing a proper automation end-to-end, -end, so obviously you will get that data from database and you're going to process that accordingly. But here I'm just initializing a string and uh, moving it accordingly. So this is the path of the document that I'm going to process. Let me show you that document too so that you can have a clear idea of what we are going to process. So here are some of the sample of the ticket that we are going to process. So we are going to process one of them. So let me show you this. So you can see this is, an, this is a picture uh, in which some of the information is there. And if you talk about this one, this again, it's a picture and it has some of the information in which the name is Ruiz Juan. And some of the information is there that it's a business class and the flight is from Chicago to Istanbul. And this is this information you can see, all right? So we're going to close that and coming back to UI path. And uh, so uh, we are using the digitizing document and digitizing document is basically you are extracting the information from the ticket, you are going, extracting all the information um, that is on the ticket, you're going to extract that. What we are going to do next, we are using ChatGPT. What OpenAI integration provides us, it's an AI tool that will read all the OCR text and what we will uh, ask him, it will extract that. So here's my prompt question that I'm going to show you. So see, I'm extracting the information from airplane ticket, I'm passing the extracted test you will need to extract the name of the airline, source of the country, destination country, date of flight, name of passenger, seat, 
what is the class? It can be business, it can be economy. Here is the extracted text from the ticket. So here I am passing the text that I extracted from the OCR. All right. So uh, I will get the text um, from the uh, from chat GPT in response. And in the second call that I am using uh, in this, I am going to uh, you. You remember that I showed you one um, string in which I have initialized a complete table in which the name uh, country, source country, destination country was there. So I am going to do a comparison that compare that string with your response and tell me whether that person exists in our system or it doesn't exist in our system. So what will OpenAI do? It will compare both of them and will return us whether that uh, is a match or that is not a match. It will tell what fields were matching and what fields were not matching. So this is a basic use case that we are going to run via UiPath and in the end we are going to display our text box in which it will show what is the final response. So I'm going to debug it and you can see what the response is. So it's running right now and it's connecting with the open AI and then it's accepting the results and then it will pop up in the form of uh, a message box. So see, here is a message box and the extracted information does not match with the data in the system. Okay, and what's the reason? The name of the passenger and the destination city match, all right? The name and the destination city is matching. However, the source city does not match. In the system, uh, the string that we passed in the beginning, the source city is Lahore. But the extracted information from the ticket that is uh, saying that a source city is Chicago, wow. I mean, amazing, like we didn't do any parsing, we didn't do any logic building, we just passed it to the OpenAI API and it returned us with this result. And you can see that how efficient this thing is working. So this is an end-to-end -end thing that we built in a UiPath. If we are building this exact same thing on Automation Anywhere, so here's how we're going to do that. Automation Anywhere is basically a cloud-based solution. You are going to do all the automation and run all of the things in, uh, in the cloud, in the Chrome. So here is a, a, a brief overview of what we are doing here. Again, we are assigning a string variable and we are assign, uh, we have the same data here uh, that we had in uh, UiPath. In this again, we are in initializing that document uh, that I just showed you. This OCR activity, it reads uh, or the complete document and extract that information. And again, we are using the OpenAI API uh, through which we are going to integrate that and then run that. We pass the exact same question that we passed from the past in UiPath. And again, in the end, we're going to show the message box that uh, what it's going to portray. So I dismiss it and we debug. So it's going to deploy on my computer and it's going to run. So you see in this corner, it's showing me that it has started running, but obviously I've ran it in debug mode. So I'm going to, uh, like I've had some breakpoints and it's now running. You see it's running and it's uh, after it will get the results, it will uh, again show the results in the message box. Let's wait for a second and see what it's going to return. See, it's line five or six. And see, this is the message box. And based on the information provided, the extracted details from the ticket do not match the record in the system. Okay, what's the reason? Here is a comparison. System data name, Rizjuan, source, Lahore, destination, Istanbul. This is the data that we passed in the initial stage. And what's the extracted data? The name of the passenger is uh, Juan Ruiz and the source of the country is uh, USA Chicago and the destination country is Turkey. And so the name format is different and the source country in the extracted data is USA Chicago instead of Lahore. Additionally, the destination country matches. 
Therefore, based on the comparison, the extracted information uh, does not fully match the record in the system. So both of them, give or, uh, give or take, return the same result, but the format is a bit different. So you can see that what's the difference between Automation Anywhere and Wearpath and how simple the development is in both of them. So let me close it and uh, Ankit, I'm passing the ball to you again. Can you share a screen again and uh, uh, show down the slides? Okay, so this was the demo. Come to the demo part. Okay, so I showed you both of the demos uh, that was in UiPath and one was in Automation Anywhere. So uh, you see that how simple the development is in uh, both of the tools. So, but now when you are choosing the right tool for your business, that is the uh, uh, that is the most important part. So uh, selecting the right RPA tool is a critical decision that can significantly impact the efficiency and success of your business automation initiatives. Here's a detailed guide to help you make an informed choice. Assessing business needs and matching them with tool capabilities. The first step in choosing an RPA tool is to access your business needs. Consider the process. Uh, you aim to automate are they rule-based uh, repetitive tasks or they require cognitive decision making once you have identified the process match them with the capabilities or potential of rpa look for the features look for easy of use look for integration capabilities and then decide which uh, tool you have to go for scalability scalability is a vital factor to consider your chosen rpa tool should be able to grow with your business and handle an increasing number of tasks without significant additional cost or complexity. It should support various automation processes from simple to complex and offer cloud-based solution to ensure flexibility. Support, adequate support from RPA vendor is essential for smooth operation and maintenance of your uh, automation tools. Ensure that the vendors offers comprehensive training, a responsive support team, and a robust community forum where you can share uh, knowledge and solutions. Total cost of ownership. The total cost of ownership is just the initial purchase of the software. It includes the implementation, maintenance, training, and infrastructure cost required to set up the RPA deployment. When uh, evaluating TCO, consider the long term value of the tool uh, that will provide, including its impact and operation uh, and operational efficiency and potential return on investment. So yeah, that is a brief overview of which, uh, what will be right for you and which tool you need to go for in your business. Talk. Okay, so Umar, uh, that was really amazing and great session. And I got a good understanding of how these tools are differ and are similar in various ways. So proceeding with our session, we are going to now head over to our Q&A session uh, in which uh, along with me and Umar, Asif will also be there to answer any questions based on his experience as he is a part of a, a practice head at RPA. So he'll be there. And I will request all the attendees to type in the questions in the chat box and uh, we will be more than happy to answer those.